Good morning. A warm welcome to the dignitaries on the dais. My fellow speaker for the day, Dr. V. Hemant Kumar, Professor and Head. Sir, I was, um, I was open awed in admiration at your resume, sir. You must tell us how to manage time and have so many credentials on one's resume, sir. I am honored to share a platform with you this morning. <laughs> Dr. S. Akila, uh, Principal, Devane Amal College, uh, Vilupuram. Ma'am, uh, your hospitality warmth right from the day she was checking my availability till the follow-up last night. Ma'am, I really did feel very, very special to be a part of this occasion. I'm truly honored. Uh, Dean of Research, Dr. J. Kalaimati. Head of Department of Commerce, Dr. T. R. Anandi. Two minutes back, I just found out that Anandi ma'am's teacher and my teacher are the same, Dr. K. Nirmala Prasad. She was, I think young students in this room should know that Dr. Nirmala Prasad was probably the first woman professor of commerce in the University of Madras. And I think if any commerce group, department, anywhere in this state is having a conference in commerce, I think she would be one of the reasons who has motivated activities like this in commerce. And wherever she is, she will be smiling on such an initiative. And yes, I'm sure. Yes. And she would have. Yes. Yes. So um, I was so happy to hear that from you. I would like at this juncture to say that um, my association with Devane Amal College goes back about 10, 15 years. I'm not sure if Madam is aware. I was, um, I think just when you became autonomous, I was invited to review your commerce curriculum as one of the members. It was an eye-opening opportunity because at that time, you know, being a city-bred person, born and brought up in the city and studying in the city itself, I always thought that smaller towns would not have much, much to offer. That was an experience that changed my point of view. The way the syllabus was structured, the way the curriculum was designed was such an eye-opener. Subsequently, I was invited as examiner in, um, by your college. Again, the way in which the controller's office would send out the cover with so many checklists, such structured method of questioning. Even the leading colleges, I would not get such a comprehensive cover from. Even in the pandemic times, I. Even in the pandemic times, the Department of Commerce had invited me for a virtual lecture to students. So I think even other colleges were thinking about handling their classes in an online mode when during the pandemic I was invited for a virtual lecture. So there is no doubt, ma'am, that you are being chosen as the best college, not just in Villupuram district, but I'm sure you have been a forerunner in many, many ways. It's very, very heartwarming. They read, ma'am was very kind to read my portfolio and my bio data. But the one thing that I'm very, very proud of in my curriculum vitae is the fact that I've been a teacher for the last 24 years. And when I see, this morning I was a little apprehensive, I'm a little jet lagged as well, lack of sleep over the last few years, traveling across a couple of time zones. I was very apprehensive because when you are in a seminar full of academicians, then you get ready for the worst. All the teachers in the room will know that, right? When you are a speaker in an academic forum, you brace yourself for the, for the worst because that last slide when it comes Q and A, then you don't know what they're going to do to you, how they're going to assault you. But when I saw a room full of student delegates, it was, it was so heartwarming simply because as a teacher, being in front of a group of students is the best moment, all the teachers in the room will agree, when we grow as academicians itself. Coming to this topic, it is beautifully conceived, kudos to the Department of Commerce, Dean Research, in putting together such a lovely topic, embracing digital transformation for sustainable business transformation. Embracing technology. That itself is the theme of many topics. Even computer science departments are still holding embracing technology, adapting technology conferences. Sustainability in business, that is another equally brilliant topic 
with the UN announcing a few years ago their 17 SDGs talking about sustainable growth, sustainable communities, sustainable countries. That itself has been the topic for many, many, um, many, many conferences. Again, business transformation. This, today businesses should not be worried only about the bottom line. Earlier businesses were all about numbers. Good revenue, more sales, more profit, fantastic. Shareholder is happy, business is happy. Today it's not like that. You need to create a transformational effect. That is another seminar topic. To take all these three topics and combine it into one, I can only say something, you're definitely going to score in your NAC criteria and have some uh, points over there because for the choice of topic, I think this topic has global, national, local relevance, it has environmental sensibilities, it has so many, so many things. I think this one topic has addressed so many needs. Um, when we look a little bit more into this topic, I think it's crucial that young students in the audience, I don't know if it was by default or design, whether you wanted to have more student delegates or wanted to have more teacher delegates, but what has happened today is the best thing for this topic. Because these students are digital natives. If you give me a new cell phone, it's a nightmare for me, right? When I have to change my cell phone, or my laptop, I start having high BP and high pulse rate because I know the next two weeks will be wasted and will be a productive waste getting used to that new phone, new laptop. So for a longest time, we'll carry that old cell phone also to make sure that the migration has truly happened. But students in this audience are digital natives. You give them any new technology, they'll just absorb it and teach you. In fact, most teachers, and I also do this, any new technology tool, I let the student lead the discussion, right? Even something as simple as, as simple as getting the projector going and the audiovisual system going in class, they will do it much faster than if I have to do it. So digital natives don't need to embrace technology. Technology is their right arm. They have their left, they have their left arm, right arm and their technology arm. So anything we are going to speak today, they already know the first part of this topic. Embracing technology is not a battle for them. Sustainable development goals, very, very critical for this generation, simply because we have lived, people on the other side of the podium have lived a good part of our life. Our, four, our forefathers left a fairly decent globe for us. Whether we have left the earth as we found it, I don't know. There are huge sustainability alarms. Our societies, countries, environments, clean, green, I don't know. Here is where you can play a difference. In fact, every time you touch a piece of plastic, you must be asking yourself, if you don't, is this recyclable plastic? If it is not recyclable, re recyclable I see some of the delegates having these folders, right? You know what would be an environmentally responsible thing to do today? To reuse that folder. To go back home, keep it safely and use it to store something. Right? And when this folder is no longer usable, how can I recycle this folder? It should become a way of life with students like you. And you are the future of business. The third aspect of today's conference, business transformation. You are going to hold jobs in marketing, HR, business head strategy in top global companies. How are you going to drive change which is not just beneficial to the company but beneficial both to the global environment as well as to the people who are a part of an organization. I really look forward to the technical sessions when we'll be sharing more about the topic. I hope to break down the topic. I'm looking forward to hear from my fellow speaker. He, I saw his topic was on um, case studies. Always examples are a big hit. If I tell you something, it's different. If I, For example, I can tell you today's students have to be, sus have to be aware of the seven sustainable goals. But if I tell you an example, in my campus in MOP Vaishna, we have an SDG app. Every student on her phone has an SDG app 
that was developed for us by our value partner CSIM, Center for Social Initiative Management, right? You know what this app does? It lists many activities which every student can do to address the goals. Example, there is one, um, there is one sustainable goal. Maybe I think it's SDG 1, no poverty, All right? So a simple thing that a student did. Example, she recycled her old clothes. She provided employment to one person in her house. Right? That she will record that activity. Right? There is one which says go up. I think there is one sustainable development goal. I don't know all the 17 sustainable goals by art. Right? Something about hunger. Right? Did not waste my food. Yes? Cooked in the right quantity with no food wastage. That the student can record in that app and it will add marks to that SDG. Like that there are simple activities. Did not buy fruits from the local supermarket, bought it from the, the street vendor. Five points. My students are encouraged to enter this in the app. And every month we have an SDG champion. The app will calculate how much of carbon footprint each of these students left on campus or off campus, how many small, small initiatives they did which add to the making them an SDG champion. Did you know that, did you even think that when you buy, when you buy fruits from the local vendor, you are an SDG champion? It doesn't occur. That is what education, in, educational initiatives like this can do to all of us. I look forward to more meaningful deliberations in the technical session. Kudos once again. Thank you for your warm hospitality. It's a very path-breaking theme for a seminar. I wish you this, all the success. <laughs> Devana Yamal College for Women, Autonomous, Bilipuram, Ungalitir Kalam, Ungal Kail.